Hello, my name is Trevor Neal. Thank you very much for inviting me. I've been a trader for all of my working life. I started more than 40 years ago when I was 18 as a floor trader for Merrill Lynch on the Coffee Exchange. I've since worked for various institutions, moving towards uh, fund management and hedge fund, running hedge funds. And now I uh, run a small fund, which is a systematic trend following technical fund. Uh, and I also teach technical analysis. Well, the UK banks have, have, have really suffered a lot. Uh, we had the banking crisis, which was terrible for the banks and the profitability of the banks, and some banks even disappeared in that time. Uh, we then stabilised a bit, um, but uh, even 2017, the banks were weak, and uh, they, uh, they went on to make new lows as well. Uh, but now they've been making, I think, uh, last year, a big broad bottom uh, formation broadly, which we're seeing very well in the uh, ETFs, of the banking ETFs. And I think they're in the process of coming out of that bottoming pattern. And uh, I think that we're on the, on the cusp of a change completely from going from hating and ignoring banks and never touching them into that they should be the leaders um, of the next stage in the market, which will be more risk on, I think coming up and so I think that uh, portfolios, conservative portfolios, will be more friendly to the banks after having them no way will I touch banks uh, for so long. Well, I do think that we're in, going to be in a new mode. Uh, of course, we don't know how Brexit's going to go. We don't know how the global economy is going to go. We don't know how the um, uh, coronavirus is going to go. We all sorts of things. We don't know how it's going to go. We don't know the US election, all those things. But what the charts are indicating, both the charts of, of the fundamentals and and of the uh, of the indices and the and the individual ETFs and, and securities, is that we're, the nature of the structure of the market is moving towards risk. And I think risk uh, assets will dominate in the, in the this year. And uh, particularly, I think, led by emerging markets, but in also in mature economies too. So I think there'll be outperformance in emerging markets. But one of the sectors which will be the beneficiary of that is the banking sector, which is, has been a bit of a dog and uh, out of favour. And uh, I expect it to become part of the leading group in, the, in this year. So, so I expect that is one of the structural changes that will take place. If you want to leverage it, be more aggressive about it, then choose an individual stock. I think the outstanding one is Virgin Bank, and uh, this, uh, from the uh, European and UK point of view, is the best looking one. It's, uh, and I think you'll get great outperformance, even bigger than the ETF if you use that. If you want even more leverage, more beta f from it, then I would go from the, this unpopular stock, which has got a, a beautiful uh, a reversal pattern and is likely to outperform any of these because of its bouncing from this low uh, level and, and high level of dislike that's in it. And so there's great potential on the upside on that um, more than the other ones. So it depends on your attitude to risk as to how you want to play this. Broadly, banking worldwide then Banking Europe, I think, then Banking UK, then Virgin, then Metro. I think that these uh, custom indices, ETFs, these theme-based ETFs are a smart beta, as some people call it, these very sophisticated uh, ETFs are the future, really they are the future. I think the risk of buying individual shares um, is great, although I've been talking about individual shares today, and we're, um, but that's because we want to take the risk because we want the outstanding reward of it. But for investment portfolio, you want to diversify the risk, um, and, and the best way to do that is through these ETFs. But the ETFs themselves have, have moved on from just being um, automobile ETFs and uh, banking ETFs into much, much more. And these new themed ETFs, I think, are, are really are fantastic, where you can uh, hedge and or take a view not on sectors or groups or countries, but on how the market's going to move. Is it going to be growth driven? Is it going to be um, uh, risk driven? Is it going to be high beta driven? These sort of things and you just buy high beta as a theme mm. as, as opposed to trying to find the right shares that represent that.